Welcome one and all, this is The Ancient Journey. On today's journey, racer rivalry. But before we begin, don't forget, if you enjoy our content, hit that like button, share the video, and subscribe. Now let's get started. Rivalry. It's the never-ending state of being in constant opposition and competition with someone, only for the reason that one side wants to be more successful than the other. Anna Maria Wilson, known as Mo to her friends, is one of the top competitive cyclists in the United States. She's favored to win in an upcoming race near Austin, Texas, and has become successful enough that she's quit her job to focus more on racing. People see a bright future ahead of her, the way she can see a path through the field or pick up on the best track through a turn. Mo is a perceptive racer. She's strong, has high endurance. She seems built for the road. But soon, she will meet her rival, someone she's not expecting to face. Colin Strickland is also a cyclist. The Texan is as serious about cycling as Mo is, even sometimes living out of a small camper to be closer to training areas and events. Colin and Mo have a lot in common. They're both athletes. Both seem to be in their primes, and both have an understanding about what it takes to win the tough races, and an understanding about those rivals. In cycling, the rival can be the course, and it can also be yourself. Sometimes your biggest rival is just destiny. You really aren't in control sometimes as a cyclist. It's not up to you. But Colin has decided to change Mo's fate. He's introduced a rival into her life she never could have seen coming. And it's not another cyclist. It's Caitlin Armstrong. Caitlin Marie Armstrong is a former house flipper and realtor. She's now a yoga instructor and runs a small business teaching. And for the past few years, she's been living with Colin Strickland. Caitlin and Colin are romantically involved and at one point, as couples sometimes do, Caitlin and Colin had a falling out, serious enough for the two to end up taking a break from each other. And it's at that time that Colin and Mo end up dating for a brief period. And when Caitlin finds out about it, Mo suddenly earns herself her new biggest rival. Caitlin is shaking with anger when she learns of Mo. Mo is younger than Caitlin by about 10 years and shares a lifestyle and interest of cycling with Colin. Caitlin has tried cycling with Colin, but he becomes grumpy when she can't keep up with him. But it's a bet that Mo can. Mo's a definite threat, and Caitlin is furious over her. Colin and Caitlin seem to reconcile their relationship, or so Caitlin thinks. As it turns out, Colin continues some sort of relationship with Mo, adding her to his phone contacts, but changing her name and deleting her messages so Caitlin won't know what's going on. It's not clear if Mo and Colin are still romantically involved or just friends, and it's also not clear if Caitlin knows that Mo is still in the picture or not. It's possible that she just has an intuition about Colin's infidelity, or that Colin's just bad at hiding his affairs, but in either case, the battle between Mo and Caitlin is about to come to a tragic end. Colin texts Caitlin one night that he's out making some deliveries, but his cell phone is about to die, so he'll be out of contact until he gets back. But Colin's not making deliveries. He's on his way to meet up with Mo. Colin and Mo enjoy some time swimming at a local pool, and again, it's, it's not clear if the two are romantically involved or not. But when the two are done swimming, Colin drops Mo back off where she's been staying at a friend's apartment and heads back home. The neighbors never hear anything. But the next morning, Mo is found dead, shot to death in the bathroom of the apartment. Colin admits to police that he has had a relationship with both women and admits to swimming with Mo before her death. 
and when police arrive at Collins residence to question him, they notice an SUV parked in front of the residence and it matches one scene in video footage outside of Moe's apartment from the night of the murder. So now, in addition to Caitlin having motive to kill Mo, they also find she had an opportunity. As video footage from Mo's apartment shows Caitlin's car, a Jeep Cherokee, arrive at Mo's apartment just minutes after Colin drops her off. Caitlin is brought in for questioning on an unrelated warrant, but the warrant has an error on it. Caitlin's date of birth on it is incorrect and warrants with wrong information on them are as good as no warrants at all. In addition, the warrant is for a misdemeanor, Caitlin skipping out on a Botox bill of less than $1,000. It's a charge that Caitlin wouldn't have been held on for long anyway. Police show Caitlin the footage of her Jeep. She nods along as they outline how bad this looks for her but she doesn't answer any questions in a way to make police keep her there as a suspect. Caitlin asks to end the interview, and her wish is granted. Caitlin walks free. But she does more than walk free. The next day, her social media accounts are scrubbed, and she is nowhere to be found. Caitlin is on the run. A handgun in the house that Colin and Caitlin share seems to be related to Moe's death. Caitlin is known to have flown from Austin, Texas to New York's LaGuardia Airport and has since vanished from sight. An arrest warrant is issued for Caitlin just a few days later. Caitlin's father believes there are many more unanswered questions and that Caitlin is innocent. And there are still many unanswered questions. Moe's racing bike is not found in the apartment. Instead, it's found some 20 yards away from the apartment, having been dragged into a thick stand of bamboo nearby. It's not clear if Moe and Colin were romantically involved or not. Text messages between the two seem to indicate they might have been, but family and friends of Mo deny it. The handgun that seemingly killed Mo was found in the home shared by Caitlin and Colin, but the weapon was purchased by Colin. How is it that Caitlin knew where Mo and Colin were arriving just minutes after she was dropped off? Crimes of passion like this are normally on the spur of the moment, but police indicate that Caitlin's escape was planned, and she may have had enough funds to stay on the run for quite some time. As of now, authorities are being flooded with tips on Caitlin's whereabouts. It's likely only a matter of time until she's found, but it seems like this story has a lot more to tell. Thanks for watching, and thanks for sharing the journey.